Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Panda Nose Linguistics. I'm your host Jack Mao. So in the last episode, we learned what are lu verbs and u verbs in Japanese, and what's the difference between dictionary form and the mass form of a Japanese verb. So as promised, in this episode, we're gonna talk about when you encounter a Japanese verb whose dictionary form ends in lu. How do we know whether it is a wu verb or lu verb? I will teach you how to make an educated guess. Ja, ikimashou. So as we said in the last episode, if you encounter a Japanese verb whose dictionary form doesn't end in lu, that's super easy. Without thinking, just put them into the u verb category. In that case, we will using our sliding rules to make it into mass form. Remember, a u, a i mas, matsu, machimas, hanasu. Hanashimas, right? If you haven't learned how to change the u verb dictionary form into mass form, please check out my last video titled "How to Conjugate Japanese Verbs." So now the problem is, if we encounter a Japanese verb whose dictionary form does end in lu, then how do we know? It's also quite easy if you follow my rules. So the key to decipher a verb ending in lu is a wu verb or lu verb is the kanji. That's right. So the first scenario is we have a sandwich hinagana between the kanji and the hinagana lu. So in this case, it's super easy. So all we need to know is if the sandwiched hinagana is an e vowel or an e vowel. For example, taberu. So we can see the be. Is the sandwiched hinagana, and then it is the e vowel, so we can know that it is a lu verb. Another example, okiru. So the sandwiched hinagana is ki, and we know ki is the vowel e, so we know that this is also lu verb. So as simple as that. If the, there is a sandwiched hinagana and the hinagana is an e vowel or an e vowel, then we know that it is the lu verb. So all we need to do to change into mass form is chop the lu off and add mass. Tabe mas, okimas. So now the second scenario is more difficult. So if you have an incident that is only a kanji and lu, then we have to memorize a few exceptions. Then the rest of them are just one category. So which one is more? Actually, the u verb is more. So if you encounter a kanji plus a lu, then the, only the following ones are lu verbs. They are ilu, 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 kiru, niru, niru, hiru, miru, eru, deru. Neru and heru. Only these ones are lu verbs. Any other incidences with the kanji and the lu are u verbs. And that's it. Hopefully,、uh, this rule is very helpful to you. And、uh, of course, always consult a dictionary if you want. But without dictionary, now you can make an educated guess. If you encounter a verb ending lu, you know which one is u verb, which one is lu verb. Okay, that's all for today. It's very quick today, but I hopefully it's helpful. If you like my teaching, please check out my iTalki profile down below, and we can learn Japanese and Chinese together remotely online. Okay, that's all for today. Again, stay strong. Bye.